Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you all for clicking. This is episode 36 on a seven bedroom house that we're putting up for our client. All right, so this was designed by Mr. Charles Busompra. Mr. Charles Busompra is an architect for the client. And so it is only right for me to acknowledge him since he has the right to the 3D. I have my own architect, which I believe you are all much aware, Mr. Jonathan Tete. But in case you want to use Mr. Charles Busompra, uh, please go ahead and use Mr. Charles Busompra. In your view, is a cost breakdown for this seven bedroom mansion that we are putting up. Um, this is a non stop project, and so we are heading straight to the roofing. Apparently, we are at the decking stage, but I'm yet to share that with you. So, come along and ensure that whenever I drop a video of the Oyarifa project, you take your time and watch the video so that together we can all learn. So, this is the boys' quarters. Now, positioning of plumbing pipes are very, very important. The WC, the floor drain, and then the wash hand basin. These are very, very important. And they should all be pressure pipe. You understand? Yes, pressure pipe. Now, when the plumber fails to position them properly, okay, and whoever comes to do the installation is also not well versed, your WC will be far away from the wall. You understand and then also your wash hand basin the pipe that does the connection both the hot and cold they will all be exposed underneath underneath the wash hand basin those pipes shouldn't be exposed and they shouldn't be seen it should be hidden now you can see here this is a small kitchen for the boys quarters and you can see that the kitchen sink pipe is hidden inside the block and that is a professional work and it comes with an end cap are you with me? There's, there is an end cap right over there. So these are things that you need to keep an eye on. You understand? In case anybody need um, a borehole drilling and a reverse osmosis or sales of other pumps, please contact my cousin Jonathan Amwa. Jonathan Amwa is an experienced borehole driller. Okay, where people say no, he says yes. He goes there and does magic. Okay, so call him for all your borehole drilling. All right. Now, you can see that the blocks that we are using here have been constant throughout. Almost all the project site that we go, we are using one manufacturer because this manufacturer has taste of quality. His blog is very strong. The quarry dust, very strong. Are you with me? Yes, these are important. So what you're seeing right now is the superstructure. We call this the superstructure. We started off with the setting out, and then after the setting out, there were some few changes from the client, and then we proceed. So after the changes, then we have to proceed. You can see that the plumber has placed all the pipe for the roof gutters. Those are all the pipes that you're seeing. We're not waiting to finish the entire building and then have to bring a cutting machine, start cutting the wall and placing pipe. No. All can be, do, can be done at this particular time. Are you with me? Now, underneath all the blog, we've placed DPC. DPC. There's DPC everywhere. Yes, we are trying as much as possible to eradicate dampness because this is a lifetime investment this is a lifetime investment so we don't want to joke with it at all this so everywhere we have to put dpc all right now from here we need to ensure the window sizes all i'm doing is opening your eyes so that in case you are building you have a fair idea from here one two three blocks the window some people will go four blocks for the window now bedroom window height is different from that of kitchen please bear that in mind 
mostly for uh, bedrooms people go four blocks okay then they get the window height kitchen people go five blocks yes five blocks for the window kitchen and then bathroom door is six blocks sometimes seven because you don't need to show from your head upwards some people want to see from your shoulder but no it is always from your head upwards you understand because that is a bathroom so from your head upwards is the height for the win uh, bathroom windows now some may have different preferences like this one here we have three blocks then the window comes this is for you know uh, design orchestra this is how the client want it because that is how the architect envision the the windows should look like so we have to design them accordingly or according to the design are you with me yes so all the blog work as we move along we are achieving top level everywhere we are achieving top level everywhere it is very very important okay so plumbing work should be checked thoroughly and masonry work should be checked thoroughly now areas of pillars now areas of pillars are of essence the the width should be four inches on the left and four inches on the right so that when you cast the pillars it will have enough meat around the pillars are you with me again you can see cleanliness is next to godliness once we are working we have to clean at times we go to various sites and it's very dirty you must clean as much as you can to keep the site clean it helps in identifying any falling uh, foreign object and then also it helps you to see clearly um, the, the width the length and breadth of the project and also speak very well of you the person who is putting up the structure you understand so cleanliness is next to godliness so we are doing all of that in the meantime the steel bender is also tying up the reinforcement for the continuation pillars so very soon they will come and position all those pillars and then we'll be ready for boarding are you with me yes and i think in the next episode i'll be showing um the room by room because here we have about let me say master bedroom one two three we have three bedrooms here in the ground floor okay yes the master bedroom is so huge very very huge so you can even go back and watch the 3d and you will understand from there okay so basically what i do is i prepare estimate if you want to build i will prepare an estimate for you and the estimate comes with a price some are 120 dollars 150 dollars or even 200 dollars depending on the capacity of the design yes Est preparing estimate is tedious mm -hmm. it's not it's not a joke it's very 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 tedious okay so please bear that in mind preparing an estimate is no joke yeah some people think it's just sitting down and just write something no 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 a lot of consideration you know is taken into that decision yes anybody that just writes something they don't know what they are doing we need to calculate we need to check the 3d there are some hidden features that you do not get in how to call it the main architectural drawing you understand you don't get those ones in the main architectural drawing but you have to get them in a 3d so and therefore i mainly request that i combine my 3d with the architectural drawing okay i combine my 3d with architectural drawing so that i can have a comprehensive estimate okay it is very very important very very important in case you need any of the building materials dpm dpc waterproof chemicals uh, bitumen waterproof if you need cement which is jata cement please contact mr maoli on the numbers on the screen all right so hopefully it's going to take us about three weeks to be able to read the entire structure up okay as you can see some of the um, reinforcement which is a continuation pillars the steel bender has placed all of them already 
Now it is important at this time that the steel bender plays all this work because when they finish the block work entirely and then he's now placing the um, the reinforcement, it becomes very difficult for him to even position them and adjust them. You understand? So this is the right time for him to be able to position all the iron rods. And as you can see, all the iron rods are standing tall. Okay, and it makes it easy for the, um, the mason to also lay the blocks accordingly and leave gap on the left and right, which is four inches on the left and four inches on the right, so that the concrete can have enough meat to hold the block properly. You understand? Here we have a double block here as per the design. Okay, and this is the bathroom. Here is entering into the master suit. Okay, well designed, and you can see that the block work the, 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 the teeth of the block work is projected because of the door frame and then the uh, architects that will come when you're fixing the door frames. Look at the windows. They're going to be window sills. Window sills are very common in Europe. You know, some are so huge that you can even put decorative flowers and you can even sit there, put your mirror, or, you know, your iPad or anything of that sort just by the window sill. You understand? So window sills are beautiful. Okay, here in this part of the world, we don't incorporate them that much. In some areas too, people don't want window sills because it gives room for other beds to come and sit there and then they'll poop around your window sill. So some places, they don't want the window sill to be there at all. So that's Mr. Dade going around, picking and cleaning up the entire place. So reinforcement iron rods have been positioned all around. This is Bernard. They are cleaning up everywhere. Every time they finish working, they have to clean. Whenever they finish working, they have to clean. Mm. It is very, very important. Are you with me? So, uh, lovely people, this is what we are doing to help people out there. Yes, my honesty lies in ensuring that your money is put into good use. And I will make sure that whatever money you have given me, I have put it into good use. That is my goal. That is the four man, Mr. Daddy. You know, that's leadership. Leadership by example. He's going around picking everything. You understand? Yes. The steel bender is over there setting up the rod everywhere. So we want to achieve a certain height. And the height is 3.2 meters. That is the height from floor to ceiling. That is the height we want to achieve. And I'll be explaining that in my next episode, which will be episode 37. If you love this video, Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and help the community to grow. From me to you, it's Shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.